Hey everybody, I'm CrazyCatDuffBoy2, and welcome to Smash Bros. Today, I'm talking about everyone's favorite future seer, Shulk. So without further ado, let's get on with the show. Shulk made his debut in Xenoblade Chronicles, released in 2010. And he made his Smash debut with Smash 4 as a starter character. Shulk's neutral special is Bernardo Arts, an ability from his home game which he has 5 of to choose from. First up is Bernardo Jump, an art that's completely original to Smash Bros. However, it does share its green colouring with Bernardo Purge, which coincidentally does have Shulk jump to the air before activating in Xenoblade. Up next we have Bernardo Speed, an actual art from Xenoblade. Art number 3 is Bernardo Shield, which while it is an actual art in Xenoblade, in Smash Bros it functions more similarly to Bernardo Armor than it does to the actual Bernardo Shield art. Shulk's fourth art is Bernardo Buster, which while it is an actual art from Xenoblade, in that game it was an offensive attack, not a status changing move. It was also similar to another color like blue. Bernardo Buster in Smash was more similar to Bernardo Enchant, both color and ability wise. Finally, there's Bernardo Smash, which is a completely original art, although it does share its color with Bernardo Eater. Shulk's art special is Air Slash, which is a physical art of his from Xenoblade. However, in Xenoblade it was only one slash, while in Smash Bros. it's two slashes. However, this could be a reference to the fact that in Xenoblade, Air Slash inflicts two status inflictions on the enemy. Shulk's down special is Vision, which plays a key role in both the story and gameplay of Xenoblade. Also, the two counterattacks that Shulk performed bear striking resemblance to Shulk's Stream Edge art and Dumban's Thunder art from Xenoblade. Shulk's side special is Backslash, which is one of his physical arts from Xenoblade. Shulk's final smash is Chain Attack, which is a technique to be performed during battle in Xenoblade. In this particular case, Shulk summons two of his party members from the game, Dunban and Ricky. Next up are Shulk's costumes, and we'll start off his default costume, which is based on his default costume in Xenoblade Chronicles. Next up we have Shulk's second costume, which is based on the color scheme of Mecha Fiora's default costume. Next up we have Shulk's third costume, which is based on the color scheme of Dunban's default costume. Next up, we have Shulk's 4th costume, which is based on the color scheme of Ryan's default costume. Up next, we have Shulk's 5th costume, which is based on the color scheme of Sharla's default costume. Up next, we have Shulk's 6th costume, which is based on the color scheme of Melia's default costume. Up next, we have Shulk's 7th costume, which is based on the color scheme of Ricky's default costume. Finally, we have Shulk's 8th costume, which is based on his swimsuit armor set from Xenoblade Chronicles. Next up are Shulk's taunts. His first taunt has him shake his head and wave his hand and say, Now it's Shulk time. This animation is similar to one he performs when starting a conversation in Xenoblade. And the phrase, Now it's Shulk time, is reference to his best friend's Ryan's catchphrase, Now it's Ryan time. Next up are Shulk's second taunt, where he grips Bernardo's handle and pumps his left fist and say, I'm really feeling it, which is one of his battle quotes from Xenoblade. His last taunt has opposed Bernardo and say, This is the Bernardo's power, which is another one of his battle quotes from Xenoblade. Next up is Adol of Poses, the first one has to tap his foot while making a ticking gesture, which is also his Adol Pose in Xenoblade. And his second Adol Pose has him tense up and look around. Next is Shulk's entrance animation where he jumps down to the stage while performing a downward slash with his Bernardo. Shulk Lucas, Corrin, and Darkpit are the only playable characters in the Smash series who have only appeared in their debut games outside of their Smash Bros. appearances. Shulk's intro line, Shulk foresees a fight, is reference to his ability to see the future. Shulk is the only swordsman in Smash Bros. who does not hold his sword while not attacking with it. This does not include Ganondorf and his sword, as his sword attack is only a custom move. Shulk is the only human sword wielding character that uses a wobbling sound effect while charging up smash attack instead of the unsheathing sound effect that the rest of the sword wielding characters use. One of Shulk's victory voice clips, I can change the future, is missing from the sound test for some unknown reason. Finally, Shulk, Weefit Trainer and Bayonetta are the only characters in Smash Bros to have British accents. Well that's all I want today, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time on Smash Files.